our intelligence is nothing before any scripture because there is everything to experience or follow in the scripture so daily we have to read it with our heart not with our mind and then the doors are opened the path will be shown and the persons who show the path will come to us you can ask what necessity they got they have to come to us they always come to us because they are kind and they have universal love and unless they come to us and unless they take us into their heart we have no stature to recognize a master or approach because we have many complexes which do not permit us to approach or recognize a master so the gates between our master and ourselves are opened by daily reading a scripture yeah. and read not only to yourself silently because it will develop only a positive nature and not what is required a silent reading is never recommended by the masters if some people are ready to listen try to read to them and explain okay. it may be your family don't ignore your family in the name of spiritualism don't ignore your family once again we are doing the greatest blunder and we have to die as fools and take another birth to go into spiritualism so whoever is ready to receive whoever is ready to receive can receive from you keep the doors open daily and then the next one ishwara pranidhana ishwara means lord who will see who this lord is the word pranidhana means total surrender which is in no way easy the most difficult thing in the human life is to make life easy and this is the way to make our life easy and we do not generally permit ourselves to make life so easy many times we believe that we have made a total surrender of ourselves to the lord at the end of 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 years of the total surrender we begin to pray the lord for what we want demand from him our nasty desires and wishes we are not pleased with the god fellow because he is not pleased even though we have made a total surrender 30 years ago so we are restless with the fellow sometimes we are angry why he is not pleased to grant what we want even though we made a total surrender long long ago the foolishness is what is the necessity of asking for something when we have made a total surrender that means our surrender is a nasty surrender and not a real surrender even though we made it 30 years ago even still we have something to pray for if we still believe that we know better than god if we are still not ashamed of suggesting better things to god then it is better to pray ourselves than to pray god when we know better things than god why should we pray god let god come and pray us so this foolishness will not be understood sometimes even after 30 years or 40 years so this is something very delicate and very subtle and requires a procedure so that we may be able to fall in a line to make the right type of surrender i told you it is only the right action that leads us to inaction in one of the scriptures it is described as follows suppose you are walking barefooted in a forest in a jungle suppose there was a thorn or a spine that pierced into your foot what is it that you are going to do there you have no hospital you have no instruments to pick it out then you take a bigger spine and manipulate with it to bring out the spine that is there in the foot like that use right action to create inaction in you that is how one of the one scripture describes it so there is one process or one procedure to make a total surrender to the lord and this is 
the second aspect and now let us go to the bigger aspect which is called tapas it is many times wrongly translated in english sometimes it is called penance yes in english it is called penance <laughs> in uh, sometimes it is also called penitence and sometimes it is called the retiring or retreat into the jungles but and sometimes it is described as something doing all these things also that is not having shaving the hair and the barb and not taking away the nails etc growing them like this it is not bad to grow all those things but the fun is this has nothing to do with those things there is a definition it has three steps it has a practice of a training of thought a training of word and a training of deed so it has a physical application of the right action a vocal application and then a mental application